it's Ina here. We're from the YouTube travel channel Solin. Um, and so we just travel with uh, new guests each time. And so here are our guests for today. Hi, I'm Madeline. I'm from Norway. And I am a student at Hong Kong University. Hi, I'm Roxanne. I'm French. Uh, and I'm also a Scandinavian student at Hong Kong University. All right, so Roxanne and Madeline, what, what kind of tour do you guys want today? Uh, just something outdoor-y, uh, authentic, full Korean experience. Right, it's the perfect time to go have that Korean autumn experience right yeah. now. So today we are at Toksu Palace, yay! So we went to a popular Korean restaurant nearby called Togatu, and we ordered one of each of its four main menus. Mm. See, you can use chopsticks for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm so happy that I'm eating seafood actually. <laughs> The meat. Yeah. We've had chicken for so many oh days. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the cheapest thing to get, you know, when you're a group of friends. Right. Um, so, and it's good, so mm -hmm. we just got so good. But my, I was in the restaurant with my dad, mm. and he had the whole fish for him. And he and he said, Oh, son, look! He takes the eyes and he. Like, <laughs> I was so shy. I still remember that day. I'm like, What the fuck, dad? Oh my god! <laughs> What, what was you guys' favorite side dish or um, these like, fish? You like the fish, fish thing? This. Mm -hmm. Also this. The octopus? Yeah. Like, yeah I like the fish, fish and the pancake. The pancake. pancake. I love yeah. the pancake. Too. Okay, there's no pancake. <laughs> <laughs> I ate them all. <laughs> your general um, opinion of today's lunch? Uh, a bit overwhelming because of all the different dishes, uh, but it's a really, it's a really good concept because we can get to try a lot of things. It's also different how uh, how we can eat out a lot because in Norway, at least, we just eat by ourselves at home, maybe with our families, but that's it. We got in line to get the tickets for Toksu Palace. <laughs> Inside the palace is a western-style building called Sokchujon. The building was built in a neoclassical style and was used by King Gojong as sleeping quarters and an audience hall. It was also really cool because there were people doing a photo shoot and dressed up as if they were from the Enlightenment period. <laughs> yeah, um, remember before we got our tickets, yeah. so the palace is here and there's this really like nice path with all the trees. So that's called the Toksu Palace Stone Wall Path. But um, the rumor is that like, you know, if you walk the path with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, they can break up. <laughs> This waffle place is really, really uh, popular. Yeah. It's really good. That's one thing I'd like to see in a video, I guess. Because <laughs> that would make me hungry, like, oh my god. Yeah. I want to go through the screen and eat it. The line is so long. So this is just the path. This entire path was closed off until 2014. Right. You can find street food by Dordam Gil, which is the Stonewall path. And we got popular Korean winter snacks which are pungopang, fish-shaped bread with sweet red bean filling, and kerampang, which is the Korean egg bread. Next, we went to Cheongdong Observatory, where you can see Toksu Palace in one glance. Oh, but this is what? Oh, I think he's going. Yeah, 
Bye. Bye.